Uh, well, first of all, I'd say I actually think I, I think I fear, feel fear quite strongly. Um, so it's not as though I just have the absence of fear. I, I feel it quite strongly. Um, but there, there are times when something is important enough, that you believe in it enough, that you, you do it in spite of the fear. So speaking so of that, important things. It's like people shouldn't think, oh, I, 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 I should, people shouldn't think, well, I feel fear about this and therefore I shouldn't do it. Um, it's normal to, be, to feel fear. Like you'd have to, there'd have to be something mentally wrong <laughs> if you didn't feel fear. Um, so you just feel it and let the importance of it drive you to do it anyway? Yeah, I, you know, I, actually something that can be helpful is fatalism. Uh, to some degree, um, if you just if you just accept the probabilities, um, then that diminishes fear. Uh, so, um, when starting SpaceX, I thought the odds of success were less than ten percent, um, and I just accepted that actually probably I would just lose lose everything, um, but that maybe we would make some progress if we could just move the ball forward. Even if we died, maybe some other company could pick up the baton and move. And keep moving it forward, um, so that we still do some good. Um, yeah, same with Tesla. I thought you know, the odds of a car company succeeding were extremely low. Well, I think first of all, I should say that I did not expect to be involved in all these things. So the the the, 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 the five things that I thought about at the time in in college, so quite a long time ago, uh, twenty five years ago. Um, you know, being, you know, making life multiplanetary, um, accelerating, the, accelerating the transition to sustainable energy, um, the, the internet, broadly speaking, um, and, and then genetics and AI. I think um, I didn't expect to be involved in, in, in all of those things. I actually, at the time in college, I, I sort of thought um, helping with electrification of, of, of cars was, was how I would start out. And that's, uh, that's actually what I worked on as an intern was um, Advanced uh, ultra capacitors with to see if they if there would be a breakthrough relative to batteries for energy storage in, in cars, and then when I came out to go to Stanford, um, that's what I was going to be doing. My grad studies on is, um, is was working on advanced uh, uh, energy storage uh, technologies for electric cars, and then I put that on hold to start an internet company in '95 because um, the. the, the there does seem to be like a time for particular technologies uh, when they're at uh, a steep point in the inflection curve, and um, and I didn't want to, you know, do a PhD at Stanford and then and watch it all happen, um, and then and, and I wasn't entirely certain that the technology I'd be working on would actually succeed. Um, like you can get you can get a you know doctorate on many things that ultimately are not do not have a practical bearing on the world, um, and I wanted to. You know, just I really was just trying to be useful. That's the optimization. It's like, what what, are the, what can I do that would actually be useful?